Hi, I'm Olivia Austin from the ABC Cafe, and today I'm making a beautiful asparagus dish with only six ingredients. Parmesan, breadcrumbs, butter, lemon, asparagus, and garlic. Stop. The first thing I'm going to do to prepare my dish is put the stove onto medium heat and put three tablespoons of butter and about a teaspoon of oil into a medium-large saucepan. Once your butter and oil is all combined and melted, you're going to take your asparagus and put it right into the pan. Just spread it around and turn the heat up to medium high and let it sit for a little while. The main thing you want to make sure to do while cooking this and putting the asparagus in the, the pan is letting the butter really boil and not turn the heat off right away. See it's bubbling a little bit and that's because of the oil and the butter. And so you're going to leave that for another minute or so until it starts to sizzle a lot. And then we're going to turn it around, and I'll be back then. I'm back, and my asparagus has been cooking for about three minutes on each side. And it's time to add my garlic and lemon into this into the dish. I'm going to start off by putting about three, two cloves of garlic on top of the asparagus. I'm going to mix this all together. I want to make sure that the garlic is partly cooked before I put, it in the, put my mixture in the broiler because I don't want it to be raw and too spicy. Okay. Now I'm going to put some lemon inside of my asparagus to give it some re a really nice punch and some acid. I want some balance. I'm putting about um, two teaspoons one to two teaspoons of lemon inside of this and I'm going to mix that around with the garlic and I'm going to leave this to cook for a little bit. As you can see, it's getting really nice and the garlic is starting to brown in it. I don't want the garlic to burn so I'm going to keep a cr really close eye on this. This shouldn't need too long, maybe about one minute, if that. I'll be right back. I've added my lemon and garlic to my asparagus and now it's time to combine about a tablespoon of butter with my mixture of Parmesan and breadcrumbs. What I did for this mixture is I added about one-fourth of a cup of Parmesan and an eighth of a cup of breadcrumbs. I didn't want it to be too breadcrumby and dry. I really wanted it to be moist with the Parmesan. Here we go. So I'm going to add my butter and just mix it together to create a little bit of a crumble to put on top of my asparagus when it goes into the broiler. Now I'm going to add my crumble. You can always spread it out once you have it on. I'm not adding too much, I just want it to be nice and cheesy. Perfect. Let's put this in the broiler. I'm going to leave it in there for about two to three minutes to get nice and crispy. And kids, if you're doing this, make sure you have some hefty oven mitts on so you, so, they don't, so you don't get burned. Beautiful. The breadcrumbs are nice and crispy and the asparagus looks nice and roasted. I'm Olivia Austin. This has been a wonderful ABC Cafe. And I'll see you next time.